in progress. Yeah. So, as you know, I, um, I designed the header in SolidWorks, and then we 3D printed this flange to see if how close I got it. And uh, it was close, but it wasn't close enough. This one piece was off by like a mil, 1.7 millimeters. So then I moved that in the drawing, and then we cut them off with the uh, laser jet, and got the flange on here, fit perfectly then, so that was great. Um, here's a, we 3D printed the collector. Here's the flange. There's the other one. So that's the other flange. We 3D printed the collector to test like locations and fitments and stuff. And so right now we're taking the parts and lengths off of a cut list that I made from creating the header, creating all those cut lists and everything, and then we're just tacking it right now to verify fitment and location. So that's about where this collector is going to be. This one is going to come off of here and go into that upper one. This one's going to come back and go like that to this front one. And then this will come away from the oil filter around and away yeah, and go be. into the merge something, right something there. Along those lines. Into the merge right there. And then the other side is just a mirror of this. So all the cuts are exactly the same. Yep. Just going to be a mirror. And once we get this one in place, good, it'll make doing the other one. A lot easier. That's what the header is going to Yeah, look so like. that shows the, if you go back, that shows the, um, there's the whole header together there, and I labeled the, the bends. So there's D, the unlabeled bends are 90s. So the ones that aren't 90s are labeled, so D, A, D is behind there, and then C there. Mm -hmm. This shows the distance of the collector from that flange, so that when, you, when, you, when we go to build it, we put the collector in that position here on the table, and we know it's in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. So, so I'm getting ready to start it. Um, I've been working on the push button start thing and it's almost there. I, there's still something with it. There's a time delay I gotta find. It's not quite right, but it, uh, it seems to work now. The dash actually turns off because I wasn't turning off before. And so that's all good. And then the fans are on when the key is off. So I gotta figure right. that one out. Um, and there's no headers on the car yet. And there's no coolant in it. But I definitely want to give it a little pop and see if everything's working. Um, so, I, I'm going to try and start it. Ready? Yeah. Okay. See if it starts. Are we on? Yep, we're ready. It has oil, right? Yes. No coolant. No coolant. Tuesday. Tuesday to Tuesday. So we spent, yeah, Tuesday to Tuesday. We spent five days because we weren't here on weekend. On it. Right, well, I, I did a little wiring on Saturday. Yeah. So I did some wiring on Saturday. Same. But the engine, we had the four cylinder in it, that partial four cylinder. We had the, the six cylinder on the floor over there. We pulled the other one out, put this one in, did the wiring. Did the fuel system? Hold he did on. the intercooler? We spent a whole lot <coughs> yeah, of time we, we spent a lot of time. Well, yeah, we spent time on the wrong engine, engine at first. I don't say, well, I don't want to say it's the wrong engine. We just found out it was a bad engine once we got to right. It no, it's a it it's a cool engine. I, so I, I mean, it's not a bad engine. It's, it's mine. Just, yeah, it's not a bad engine. It's my engine. I know. Be nice to it. It's just blown up. It's just the wrong one <laughs> for this one. Um, I, that's my best well, started really nice. That's that was really good. The um, the SI drive is supposed to work on this. So I have it set up. This is really neat if you want to take a picture of this. This thing has what's called cow slot control. And so you can set a bunch of tunes in the map, all the tables. You can do like four fuel maps and four ignition maps and multiple boost maps and you know, turn the anti-lag on and off and that kind of stuff. You can use this, this cow control feature. Uh, in this cow slot table. So here you go. You can see that. So there's four slots that you can assign to something, whether it's your AC button or buttons on the dash or a can pad. Like if you have a Mtron, you can use a can pad. This thing's really cool. And um, there's buttons, and they have stickers they put on there to say what they're for. So I can set this be cow slot one, two, or three, or four, or even have this toggle between them. 
and then it'll cycle through the cow slots. And then in here you see it's fuel table, ignition table, drive-by wire target, launch tables, traction tables, all that stuff too. So I can have all these things um, separate for each cow slot. And then for the cow slot control, so to determine which one I'm using, I set the SI drive up here, and then I also put the trash control switch. So it reads the trash control button down here on the dash. So by having the trash control on or off, it switches which which map it's in. You're just, sides. you're just giving away all the trade secrets right now in this one video. That's why I did, that's why I did it. Uh, you probably didn't realize there was a camera there. Oh, I, I realized there was a camera there. Well, no, it is exciting though. Good job, Lane, Dom, Igor, who helped us, Kevin, who's been filming, Tanner. everyone, Tanner. <clears throat> we have uh, Tier 1 as a whole. Our team has kicked ass in this project. <laughs>